We have uh, Nightmare Ulsan going up against Echo Fox, JDCR. And Ulsan picking Kazumi. How, what do you feel about it? How do you feel about Hammerhead? How do I feel? How do you feel about Hammerhead? Like as a stage? You know, music? it's interesting because it is a, a stage. You know, it's a typical stage, but it starts off at a weird angle. Yeah, you Side start wall stunts. It. Yeah. It's like the pool table, man. You start yeah, man. It's like the cameraman had like a, a little too much to drink the night before. <laughs> start off over here, guy. Wait, what? My car's over there. <laughs> Oh, what a backdash there by Saint. What a punish. Okay. Man, here we go. Olsen. And you know, this is actually probably, you know, Olsen probably studied a lot of the tapes of Take versus JDCR. Oh, yeah. He knows that, you know, JDCR in this matchup hasn't Get been winning too much. Get off the beret. I just had it clean. Oh, he's down, back, four. Olsen. Round one, game one versus JDCR in this top 32. I like the spacing already. JDCR playing a little more iffy on that offense. That 4 2 track. Make sure. No break on the throw. JDCR. Full sidestep. Good space once again. Right along that wall. Counter hit slide. Ugh. Running two. Stomp him. Running two again. Down two. Uh -oh. Offense looking a lot better. Still going to get the combo. Get Confirmation. Confirmation. Tied up on rounds now. So finally, JDCR making that adjustment. You know, he got hands put on him early on. Those 1-1s one and the down forward one. You know, Ugh. Kazumi's just standard basic tools. Her fastest folks Ugh. are some of the most dominant in the game. Yeah, she controls that zero range a lot better than a lot, uh, most characters. Especially considering she has that 1-1-2 one, one, that's going to give her close knockdown. That down forward one. Um, and just a lot of close range folks, like you said before. Oh, yeah. But right now, JDCR is slowing it down and it's working out. Olsan isn't raging, though. Anything is going to do it. Wow. wow. Second hit. I can't believe it. Oh, you don't try that fly stuff on me. You yeah. know who I am? I'm the fly guy. That's it. Look at my beret. It doesn't fall off. Not like you other characters that have certain elements of clothing flying off. Nah, man. You can't knock off a dude beret. That's mad disrespect. Yeah, man. He should pick the one with the raspberry beret. I know. He should. Raspberry I wish he would. Beret. Oh, man. That was an amazing step. Oh, Tony the Tiger from the side. Mm. You gotta call the Rage Drive. <laughs> the Rage Drive is actually Frosted Flakes because it's a blue tiger. It's a blue tiger. Uh, what if you won it with a sliver of life left? I mean, great. great. That's why you caught. There you go. Now you got it. Got it. Dang, my boy Mark, man, with the instant reach. See, it's that's how I know. Instant man. <laughs> nice block. Okay. It's nighttime. The boys are there in the corner. But where is Noctis? Hey, man, my dude's handling some business. You know he like to run off in the middle of the mission. I know that much about 15. It kind of reminds me of the main character from 8. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Oh, yeah. Like Steve is mad now. Like that. Get yeah. off of me. Hands off the beret. I just had this bad boy clean. You know, Osai looking really good right now. And again, JDCR showing his frustration with this character. What, what a sidestep. Side step. He should have went for the launch. Locks on the axe handle. Up 4-3 to check. Osai. Oh, my him. gosh. Ugh. Power crush attack throw. Boom. Osai with a little smile on his face. A little Jeez. happy. That's a good kitty. Yes, you are. <laughs> good kitty. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, I really, really enjoy watching JDCR play. Like, it's it's the small thing. The little nuances in this man's gameplay actually get me excited. I see this man, little mini side steps. The way he, he adjusts his game from, from round to round. Um, and I feel like that's one of the big differences you see between international talent, no matter where you are. Um, I had a, I spoke with a lot of the, uh, the the players here in Australia who say it's a lot different, who understand the, the the gravity of the situation when you play a player like JDCR, and you get to see that difference. Ask any player, um, no matter where they live, they will tell you once you get that that spiritual pressure, like in Bleach, it's hard oh, to yeah. breathe. It's, it's like hard you to move around. His aura, right? Yeah, you can it's feel like, it. Hey, man, it's kinda. <laughs> hey, you got him hot? Is it, can I get water? Jeez, it's, can we turn these lights down? Ugh, power crush. I like the giggle. And, uh, you know, Ulsan is not afraid. You know, Ulsan uh, actually has lost to JDCR. I think every time they've met in tournament uh -huh. before. Looking so a lot better right now. Gets the slide oh, yeah. on the board. You watch the tapes, bro. That's what happens, dude. Like, you have to remember that, like, the more footage we have, stream technology is too hot. Oh, yeah. This people, is footage. People, you know, one of these days, it was like a guy sitting in his, in his bedroom. He was like, I'm tired of this JDCR guy. Exactly. Waiting. He just comes out. <laughs> Mom, pack me a sack lunch. I'm going to a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Ulsan right there. All right, ooh, Looking like Dennis the Menace. He has to go for Rage Art. He has to go for it. Oh, he went for the drive. Unable to get it. See, I believed it too much. I'm sorry. Oh, he did whip. That's They're great. great. Well, close enough. Frosted Flakes. 
Check the box. Low parry right out of the gate. No. JD, JDCR is not going to have any of that. We will not have it. I won't stand for it. It's all I can stand. I can stand no more. Yeah, he said, screw that. It's all about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> oh, man. And what they're speaking of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Moving. This is what I'm talking about. Look how much more compact JDCR is playing. A lot more pokes, not as many special moves. Slowly oh. taking his opponent apart, sidestep down for two, and that's the round for you. See, that's the thing. I feel like round Osan might be implanting this, like, you know, I'm going to start throwing out the running twos just to force him to sidestep. You're going to start seeing back two from Kazumi. Oh, yeah, they're back two. And while setting ones, down board one twos. A lot of this stuff might work out in his favor. So he might fake a dash in just to get a reaction out of him. There he goes again. He's using it. And you see him slightly delaying those run -ups. I mean, you think about pokes. it. Why would you use running two when you know that JDCR sidestep launched it already? Mm -hmm. But he might be baiting it out again, trying to force him to step. And now would be as good as time as ever. Nice back pass there after that 1-1. One -one. She's, she's got to be careful. Blocks the power crush. Gets two hits. Uh oh Get That's off good because he would have been dead after that. Oh, my gosh. One mix-up could do it. JDC. But he does have rage drive. Oh, oh. just mixed a little up. too late. He delayed it. He didn't believe in it. 18 seconds left on the clock. Oh, the that's he not what it. he wanted. Oh, oh my gosh. You got impatient. Round four. Jeez, JDCR staying alive here. Two rounds to one. Top 32. What a dangerous situation right now for Olsan. Dude, and look, he is playing the right way. He is doing the down forward one, wait and react. And, and if you notice, he backdashes. Down, down one. Down. Right when he did the down one, he got sidestepped. The knife. Double down two. Repeat offender. You can go to jail for that, bro. Oh, yeah, especially in this country. <laughs> oh, running two. Here we go. The Russian assault. Oh, what a step. And that is so hard to do. Point blank. The mini side step beat out the option that he wanted. Jab. Once Jeez. again, that compact play coming in for JDCR. Oh, oh, and the whiff. And he just... He missed the bowl completely. He tried to pour the cereal in the bowl and just completely missed. He's a what? <laughs> All right, here we go. JDCR. We have no, we have no core pops? Very important, Steve. Do you pour the milk first or the cereal first? What kind of animal? What kind you know, of there are, savage? There are people out there, though. Would pour the milk first. Like, come on, man. Yep. See, the thing that people don't appreciate is you get the enjoyment from the sizzle of the milk pouring over the, over the, the cereal. It's, it's, it's so important. All you have to do, if you need to know how to pour cereal, go back and look at any commercial for cereal in the 90s. If you see how the cereal, I mean, the milk splashes off of the cereal, yes. that looks delicious. Why would you not want to recreate a balanced breakfast from a commercial you've seen as a kid? I knew you would be angry. I'm sorry I brought it up. This is the only time you can bring it. It has to be when a tight match is going on. Exactly. Dude, this stage has been showing up a lot. I mean, I'm just saying. Man. I want to go here, man. In Bolivia, it's a real place. I am down With the reflections. This is where we should have it. Screw Amsterdam. Let's not go for the TWT finals there. Let's go here. In the middle just of the in infinite the middle? azure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can get electricity out there. I mean, hey, I mean, if Akon got electricity in Africa, I'm pretty sure we can get it here. That's right. Get off of me. Time Hands off the Let's go. <laughs> oh, Whoa. my gosh. And the Razor doing work, that low swipe. Such an amazing move for Dragunov because it does build up all his other options. Oh, oh, Frosted oh, oh does he know the real combo? Oh, he has a combo. He has hawk. a combo. Not dead, though. Okay, mix up. One more hit. Oh, oh. Put the brakes on. Oh, oh, and he get him with the shoulder. He didn't While standing shoulder. 12. That's he what he did. He didn't have to. Fight. Steve is trying to explain it to everyone else. I was did you to see that? He looked so surprised. Did you see that? He was like, what is that? I was like, While standing 12, bro. You can do it out of crouch. Yeah, He's like, is that what it was? Some people on this side of the world don't like it when you say 12. Steve. I mean, hey, look, man. You got to learn the lore, They don't bro. like it when you say 12. Okay. Down four. Down oh, four. Oh, what a sidestep. Back from Olson. Olson right now, he's doing such a great job in the matchup, but JDCR time and again has been making the right side step and the right read when he oh my Ooh, god. Right in the side of the neck. Hit it right in the side of that honey that bun judo on top chop? of the head. Judo chop. Jeez. Round three. Fight. Alright, here we go. Just like that. JDCR turning the tide. He was down. Yep. He was out, presumably. But this comeback. And guess what, Steve? Well, 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 bong. Oh wow, as the combo continues. Uh. Tony, get in there. Runs off, infinite is your. Nice running too. JDCR looking a lot better in these last six rounds. I like how he's playing right now. He is not, look, he's like, he is ascended right now. He is on the next level. That theme's playing? Yeah, oh, you know that song. <laughs> Don't get me started. All right, let me stop. Down for one, I like to check, it goes right for it. Sidestep, JDCR moves on. 
Also, so strong. That, that, that boy's good. That boy good. That boy is good. That boy good.